What up, everybody? Welcome back to the kitchen. Uh, Brandy Myers again brought out another one of her nice Louisville for us to try out. This is the uh, Andy Purcell, the APG3, um, 13 inch barrel, three quarter end load. Um, swung this the same day as we swung the Moshburn. So, about 78 degrees, slight breeze behind us, 340 foot fields. Hitting a mixture of classic M's, 52s, there's a, some 44 375s as well. Um, you know, really good bat. We'll leave the review at the end. Also, if you guys want to, man, go ahead, leave a comment, you know, any suggestions on what bats you want to see us swing next, you know, and anyone in the local area that wants to come out to the kitchen, get some swings with us, more than welcome. The kitchen is always open. Anyway, check out some of these swings from me and the gang, and uh, stay tuned for the review. Got him. <laughs> Good swing. Good swing. Hey, bring the bucket, Jay. Good pitch. Oh man, get next to me, man. Ready? Look at that size difference right there. All right, let me know when you're ready. Okay, go ahead. All right, guys, we are here with the um, new APG3 27 ounce. I'm here with Louisville Pro, Brandy Myers. Um, she brought it out. Bat probably had about 40, 50 swings on some spinner balls. Um, obviously, we don't have a compression tester, but I will tell you right now, I know the Louisvilles, they all test very high out the wrapper. They've been pretty consistent with the performance. I'll go first. I've never been a fan of the three quarter end load. Um, it just, that little, I, I like half ounce. That extra quarter ounce just throws my timing off a little bit. But for some reason, this one felt weighted perfectly, came through the zone pretty good, had good pop. Brandy, what do you think about it? Uh, personally, I've always loved the APGs. The red and white APG was my favorite last season and I've continued using it this year. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised when I got this one because even hitting the spinner balls, I just feel like I have great control with this bat. I swing a 27, um, so I always have liked the heavier APG. I like the end load, and it helps me with staying on the ball longer when I push. So for me, this is the best bat. I love the response I got off of it right out of the wrapper. Yeah. How's the paint different? So yeah, I was just gonna jump on that. Yeah. Before we jump on the paint, I'll tell you right now, these fields are like 340, 350. So we're not hitting on a 300 foot field. And we hit a few balls off the fence. Mm -hmm. But compared to last year's model, if you notice, there's no paint seams. And normally these bats will start having like a vertical seam within maybe the first 15, 20 swings. I think I got a bat that's similar to it. There you go. You know, they'll have a nice little vertical seam. It doesn't mean that the bat broke. It just, you know, that's just cosmetics, all right? Yep. But again, um, Listen, I think Brandy got a code for these bats. You want to share with us your code? Yeah, BM6 saves you 20% on your entire order on sluggersoulpitch.com. Man, look at that, man. All right, so again, back at Chef's Kitchen, Louisville Pro, Brandy Myers, tested out the APG. Good job. Sweet.